Okay, come along with me and we are going to make something that's really yummy. It's called the Instapot Strawberry Jam. And what you need is one pound of whole quartered strawberries. And I made them a little bit smaller than um, quartered. And you need one cup of honey and you need a tablespoon of cornstarch. So let's get started. You want to turn the Instapot on the saute function. So I just turned it on. I don't think you can't see. I don't believe the functions. Even if I turn it around, I don't believe, but we'll try it. We'll see. Uh, yeah, maybe you can. I'll just move things around just a little bit. And we're on saute right there. And there's the pot right there. Okay, we're on saute. And there's the pot. So we've got the strawberries, the honey, and the cornstarch. So we put on the saute and it says heat the honey until it starts to bubble. So what I did is I poured a little bit of cooking spray into the measuring cup. That way it's easier for the honey to come out of. I didn't put a whole lot, I just put a little bit. Just like this. And we wanna heat that up. Just like that. There we go. We'll set that right here. And then it said, until it starts to bubble. Okay, well, we'll wait until it starts to bubble and we'll see what happens. Just get the little bit of honey that's on here off because we are going to use the whisk. So as we're waiting for that to bubble up, I will tell you, we're gonna add the strawberries to the Instapot in the honey until it bubbles and turns a pink color. And once it turns a pink color, we're gonna remove one quarter cup of the liquid from the Instapot, and we're gonna thoroughly mix it with some cornstarch, and then we're gonna turn it back into the Instapot. And then it, we're gonna make that mixture come to a boil till it thickens up and it's super thick, and then you can add more cornstarch, and it all depends. Then you wanna turn the Instapot off, let it cool completely, transfer it to a small container, and keep in the refrigerator. And it says it can last for a long time. So we're gonna see, and we're gonna use a, uh, a natural pressure release. That means after the time has expired, and the Instapot has beeped, allow the timer to count up until the desired time has been reached before the pressure release manual. Quick release is turning the knob to manual release pressure. Okay, so how we're doing? Eh, it's starting to get some itty bitty little bubbles. It doesn't say how big the bubbles, it just said heat until it starts to bubble. So it's starting to bubble a little bit here. And the honey smells good as it's warming up. And I'm gonna try to keep you on without having to pause, but we will see. So the honey's starting to bubble. And then we're going to add the strawberries, which is one pound of strawberries. Add those right in. Ooh, hear that little sizzling sound. Just like that. There. And then we want to wait until the honey bubbles and it takes into a pink color. So instead of you waiting, I don't know how long it's going to take, I will bring you back when it turns pink. Okay, if you look now around the edges, 
it looks pink. Can you see the pink around it? I'm gonna call that pink around the edges. It looks really good and it smells really nice. It says, turn the Instapot off and secure the lid. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this around so I can see it. Okay, I'm gonna shut it off. And then it says, secure the lid. Okay, the lid is secured. Just want to bring this up just a little bit. Excuse me. There. And then it says you want to cook on manual for one minute. So I'm going to hit the manual button. And I'm going to cook that for one minute. So there it goes. It's starting to cook for one minute. And once... Once it cooks for one minute, we're going to do NPR and then a QR. So the NPR and then a quick release. Okay, and then the NPR is a natural pressure release. This means after the time has expired and the Instapod has beeped, allow the timer to count up until the desired time has been reached before releasing the pressure manual. And then it says, once that's done, you want to do a QR, which is a quick release, turning the knob to manual, release the pressure. So we will do that. And then I will bring you back for the next step. Okay, I'm back. I'm getting ready to shut it off, which I just did. And what we did is we put it on manual for one minute. And then after that, it went into an NPR, which is a natural pressure release for 10 minutes. Now I'm just going to hit the release button just to see if there's anything there. Oh, there is. There's a little bit. Can you hear it? I call it singing. So we're going to vent all the steam out. It's singing to me. And then we're going to take a quarter of a cup of the liquid out and one tablespoon of cornstarch and we're going to mix it real good. We're going to put it back into the pot and we are going to hit the saute button. And then we're going to uh, check the consistency of it. And you may want to add a little bit more cornstarch or you may want to leave it the way it is. It depends how you like the thickness. But do remember, it will thicken up when you put it in the refrigerator. I'm not going to be canning this. It's going in the refrigerator because Ray will eat it right up, and who knows? I might do a video on something else with it. Depends. I'm not sure. With me, you never know. Sounds like it's just about done here. We'll let it get done singing to us. It smells really good with the honey and the strawberries. Oh, yeah. Just about done. Let me check. See, if it's not ready, the cover's not going to let you take it off because it's still steam. I'm looking at the little pen. Should be just about ready. Ooh, I smell that honey. Okay, I think it's ready. There, it just was singing to me. There it is, right there. Always take the cover away from you when you are opening the pot. Okay, we're gonna take a quarter of a cup. This is what it looks like. We're gonna take a quarter of a cup. It says of, uh, let me see here to make sure I get it right. Remove a quarter of a cup of the liquid, just the liquid. Well, I'll do the best I can just to get the liquid without no berries. A little bit at a time, a little bit of 
dab a do ya, and then we're going to turn it back on to the saute to thicken it up to your likings, and you want to whisk it as it's going. Almost there. There. I got a bigger spoon. I was going to use my Grammy's spoon, but this one here, I believe, would get a little bit more than my Grammy's. I hope everybody's having a great day and please try this because I think it's gonna be amazing. I'm not a real big jelly and jam person. I've made a lot and I've sold a lot over the years, but Ray is my tester. But I can tell you one thing, it sure does smell good. Almost there. What I should have done is got a strainer and it would have been a lot faster. Next time I'll know. This is the first time I've made this. I like to always do the first time with you guys. That way you guys are gonna know it's real. No sugar coating here. Okay, this ought to do me right here. There it is. I don't know if you can see it with the lighting in here. So a quarter of a cup. I don't think you can see it. To give me enough lighting, I have to put on three lights. So I'm gonna put the cornstarch in, just like that. And I have a little itty bitty whisk, and it's small. And I'm gonna hit the saute button while I'm whisking this in, just like this. And we might have to add more, I'm not sure, but we'll see as we go. It's telling me the saute button is ready to put anything in that we wish to have in. And if you don't have a whisk, you can always use a fork or a big whisk or whatever. But I'm using a small container and so I said, well, I'll use my small whisk. Yeah, it's whisking right up nicely here. See, there you go. It's looking good. We're going to put it in just like that. We've got the saute button on. Uh, I do have the saute button on. And this time I'm gonna take Big Bertha whisk out here. And we're just going to move it around. And it will be thickening, thickening up as it boils. And then once it goes in the refrigerator, it will thicken a little bit more. Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Give it a second or two here. We don't need the big spoon anymore. Well, I might have to put some more in, so I'll wait. starting to bubble up nice again. There we go, it's bubbling nice. Oh boy, it smells good. Got some good bubbles there. And what I'll do is I'll bring it, bring you back and I'll let you know if I have to add any more. That way you don't have to wait and just see bubbles coming. Okay, I've got it to my desired thickness and she's a bubbling away good. Now I'm gonna show you how I do mine. See how it's sticking to the whisk right here? Okay, watch what I do with the spoon. I'm gonna shut it off like that. I'm going to take the spoon and you're going to take it. See this um, spoon right here. And when it starts just kind of goes slow and just kind of drops. Can you see that? Oops, I'm sorry. I had it too high. Can you see how thick it looks? And it just kind of drops. See? 
see how it goes off the spoon. Whoops, I keep having it too high, I'm sorry. It just kind of goes off the spoon very slowly and it's thick. That's how we like ours. Plus, it is going to thicken up when it's in the refrigerator. I will bring you back when this is totally cool and it's in the jar. Don't go too far. Okay, folks, here you go. It's still quite warm, but I got it in the jar. So that did a pint and about four ounces. So I just wanted to show you, it came out amazing. It's nice, it's got a great consistency. And if you like honey, oh boy, can I smell the honey in this. So please give me thumbs up. You never know what's gonna be on my videos. Have a great day, share my videos. Please leave a comment below and let me know if you've ever made um, this type of jam in the Instapot before. Have a great day. God bless.